dear learner welcome back now we will go to actual valuation of equity shares like i told you valuation has a basic principles that is available so value of an any asset that you take would be present value of its future returns in the earlier study session we discussed that this future return could be of two types one the periodic returns that we get which in case of an equity should be generally dividend and second return that we get is when we sell that particular equity share we get a redemption value so present value of these two should be the value of an equity so whenever i'm talking about value i mean intrinsic value now with this with this understanding or basic concept clarity let's go ahead and understand what are the various models that is available for equity valuation so from this particular study session our learning outcome is to understand what are the models that we use in equity valuation and what are the approaches that is available for that there are three type of equity valuation models that is available first one is a dividend based model and second one is an earnings based model and the third one is cash flow based model so what is different in all these three models are just the cash flow or the inflow that we take in one case we take dividend in another case we take earnings and on the third approach we take cash flow and each approach has its advantages and its limitations attached to it so based on multiple scenarios we will use all this approach before that it is very important that we understand what are the models that is available in each of these approaches towards equity valuation are you ready to go ahead with that very good let us go ahead with that now dividend based model itself has a lot of assumptions attached to it now let's see what are the assumptions first one is dividends are paid annually so in all the questions that we are going to solve we are going to take it as dividends are being paid annually so annual dividend is what we will consider then second case the first payment or the second assumption that we have is the first payment is happening at the end of the year and third assumption the sale of equity share is also happening at the end of the year at an x dividend price so which means the price that i'm going to get is not influenced out of the dividend so it's after the dividend declaration now with these assumptions we will go ahead with the first approach that we have in dividend based model of equity valuation now let's take the first simplest method which is single period valuation model now we will start with an example question we'll try to understand the question and we'll try to answer the question with the concept first then we will go ahead with the formula see i do not recommend you to learn the formulas by heart that is not the correct approach to learn strategic financial management rather you should understand the concept behind it and the formula should come automatically to you so that is the approach that we are going to adopt in our study modules so let's read the example question i'll read it for you shares of one year limited is expected to be sold at rupees 60 with a dividend of rupees 6 after one year so the question says which is the share of this particular company is going to have rupees 60 at the end of this year and it is also going to give you rupees 6 as a dividend now they're saying if the required rate of return for the investor is 20% then what will be the share price so the question gives you three informations and question ask you to find out what would be the value of that particular share now let's go ahead with first arranging the information and writing it out there so in our question we are saying that value of the share or the price of this particular equity share at the end of year 1 which means price at year 1 or value at year 1 is rupees 60 
then it also says that at the end of year one you are going to get a dividend of rupees six and as an investor your required rate of return required rate of return is 20 percentage now with this information we need to find out what would be the value of this particular share today so which we are going to call as p0 this is what we are going to find out so why are we calling it a single period because we are just dealing with one year period at the end of the year when I'm selling that particular share, I'm going to get rupees 60 and also the company is going to give me rupees 6 at the end of the year and I require 20% return. If that's the case, how much will be the value I'm ready to pay now? This is what is the calculation. Now let's go back to the concept. What is value? I'm going to write the concept again and again for you because every valuation, you take any, any asset for your valuation purpose, all the asset valuation has the same logic behind it. What is the logic behind that? Value is nothing but present value of future cash flows. Which means in our case, it will be present value of dividend. plus present value of price at the end of year one this should give you what would be the value today so if at all you wanted to calculate what is the present value you require something called as a discount rate. So for any valuation in equity, the discount rate that we take would be generally the required rate of return of the investor or we would call it as an opportunity cost of capital. So generally we denote that with the word K. So in our example, we have already calculated K to be 20% in the question itself it says 20% is the required rate of return. So if I discount my future cash flows with the required rate of return, I would get what would be the value of shares today. So we will have to take out present value of dividend. So how do I calculate present value of dividend? So it will be dividend divided by 1 plus K. Since it is one year discounting, it is to the power 1. So in our basic module, we have discussed how do we do discounting, how do we do compounding and all that basics. So with that understanding, we are going ahead and then doing the discounting of discounting of the cash flow I'm going to get at the year one because I need to calculate value today. So the price would be different. So if I want 20% return or required return is 20%, then my today's value should be discounted at 20%. So what is my dividend in this case? It is 6 and I discount it with 1 plus 0 0.20 power 1. So it means 6 divided by 1.2 which gives you rupees 5. So similarly, I am going to get, I am going to get a value when I'm going, I'm going to get a price when I'm selling this particular share at the end of the year. So how much in our question we would get when we are selling it? 60. So that also has to be discounted. So price 1 has to be discounted at what discounting rate? Again, we will discount at the required rate of return which is K for our example. So P1 is 60. Again, I am discounting that with 1 plus 0 0.20 power 1. So again, that would give me rupees 50. So what would be my value of value today? It is nothing but present value of my future cash flows. Which is going to be rupees 55. Value of this particular equity share is rupees 55 in the market. 
and you're getting six rupees at the end of this particular year as dividend and when you're selling after one year you're getting 60 rupees then you're having 20 percentage return on this particular investment are you understanding very good now from this calculation can you can you think of a formula for calculating the same so what should be the formula for a single period value of an equity share so value or we would just call it as p0 we would denote it by p0 is equal to the dividend at the end of one year plus price at the end of the year divided by 1 plus cost of capital or required rate of return so this would be the formula for single period model so our study session first formula that we are going to learn is this so this is very basic fundamental which says i have to take my my return i'm going to get at the end of the year to the present value so to take it to present value i discount it with required rate of return that is it hey guys i hope you liked the video and understood the basics of equity valuation now let me ask you a question what do you think would make a difference between value of a particular equity or a stock and the market price i wanted to know your comments on this please please go ahead then comment your your knowledge on this particular area and if you like the video and wanted to have more of my videos on similar knowledge areas please please subscribe to LearnCap channel and you can watch all the videos and you will be notified about it. Thank you.